G'day and welcome back for more Survival Unlikely. And, uh, yeah, it feels like we've been away for a little while. Oh, it's cold out it's here. It's like we slept for a long time. Oh, great. Yes. Use your fancy new emotes. What the uh, heck did you just do then? I don't know. <laughs> what did it look like? It, it looked... It looks like... What? It, it looks like you somehow compress your legs into your body. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> what the heck is going on? What animation are you doing to do that? Uh, this is... Treadmill animation. It's what? So I heard a big clanging noise. It's called treadmill animation. Is it a treadmill animation? Is it an emote? Oh, that must be because of the, the, the mod for the treadmill. Well, anyway, um, I think you've got a lot of work to do today. Huh? You've got a lot of work to do today. What? Uh... There's two giant orc ships to do something with. Has this always been a thing, or is this new? What? Uh, crosshair visible with HUD. Uh, that's new since Frostbite. Well, that's handy. I have mine off all the time because I don't like the crosshair. Yeah, but if you can toggle it with tab, it's not, it's not still definitely obnoxious. not as intrusive as it was. Yeah, that's true. It's still obnoxious, though, for me. Because uh, I like to have the option of having a nice, pretty cinematic where I can kind of crop down to it. Uh, yeah, what are we doing? You are deciding what to do with the orc ships. Oh. While um, the gold refines for hopefully enough to make you a shield. I was thinking maybe we could flip them on eBay for a profit. Sure, you do that. Uh, okay. Uh, how do I get onto eBay? Mm. Uh, let's there see. There might be a script that allows you to get onto a browser in one of the things. Uh, if I check on my, my keypad here. Boop, boop, boop. <coughs> well. I got space blue. <laughs> well, nobody's going to want them now. You sneezed all over them. Guess we can make like a grinder ship and grind it up. We've got a grinder ship on the front of our thing. We do? Yeah, we've got a grinder wall at the front. What? Huh? On the front? Up the oh, the whole thing. When did yeah. that happen? I swear you've seen that. Uh, well, okay. Do you want to, so basically, you want to start oh, those up? Oh, I know what you can do. You can make a tug. So basically, my idea with that grinder wall... Oh! Oh, no! There's an even better idea with the grinder wall. Uh, yeah. is to scrap the whole thing. Uh, what? you're gonna You're gonna like this plan. Scrap what whole thing? So, if we remove the grinder wall, and instead put a spherical gravity generator in the middle of a bunch of collectors... Uh... Okay. So that the spher spherical gravity gen will pull everything in towards the collectors then what you do is you can just fly these ships close and grind them with your hand tool and not worry about any components that are falling out because they'll all get pulled into oh, the collectors. Oh I see okay. And because our hand tools are so effective we it may actually be quicker than using a grinder wall because we don't bump stuff. Large grid stuff doesn't get bumped by us we're too small. Well, well, we can leave the grinders there, and we can make this this collector thing off the bottom. Well, it's just got to be somewhere where we don't have a gravitational field that we're going to have to adjust and fix. Uh, or you're right. just going to have to fix um, the gravitational field wherever you decide to put this thing. So, oh, I basically have to extend it outside the shield. No, no, we can turn off the shield to stopping them from getting in. Temporarily. What? No, I mean the, that's the distance from the gravity. No, no, but you can adjust the gravity the gravity gens. Oh, Hold on. do we have an access point down um, here? I mean, oh, your other option, guns. your other option, Capac, would be to put the collectors on the roof here. On the roof. Gravity's already pulling it down. You just pull it, use a grav uh, spherical one to pull it in in a cone. Spherical gravity generator. Have you ever used a spherical gravity generator before? No. Uh, conveyor. Well, then I'm glad I made you do this. 
Because it's good for you to learn some new things. I hate learnings. I know. That's why it's good for you to do it. Bang? Are you? I did nothing. What did you do? I, I really did nothing. Yeah. You don't... Uh oh, Rebear Assault Corvette co incoming. Oh no. What do we do? Uh, well, we could throw an orc at it. Wait. Oh. Oh, it might be passing us by, actually. Something's gone terribly wrong. Like what? Oh. No, my crosshairs and my gun sights are now aligned again. Oh, is this your plan? Uh, well, this is what you would just told me to do. No, I mean, in terms of location. What did you... What direction have you got this thing making its gravity go? I haven't changed it from the default yet. Uh, totally not a trap drone. I think I'll take a break over here. All this cargo is weighing me down. Uh... That's very close. Yeah. Oh no. Which which signals the Reaver noticed? Oh, Kavak, bad. Bad, bad. I think the Reaver has noticed the corrupt, totally not a trap drone that is very close to us, so the Reaver is probably going to get close enough to us to, re to realize we're here. Uh, sure. What do you want to do about it? Uh, be ready to shoot. Be ready to throw orcs at them. Whoa. Oh. Holy moly. Uh, that's a lot of fighting. <laughs> what did you just do? I just stepped out of the ship and went on a crazy orbit thanks to that spherical generator. Uh. Okay, it looks like the Reaver Assault Corvette dealt with the totally not a trap. And he's now just chilling there. <laughs> Your corpse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're gonna need to have a bit more of a consistent gravitational pull. Well, I don't know how to do that. Well, you gotta find out where the gravity gen is that's affecting this area. Mm. So, the easiest way to do that uh, requires an antenna on board our ship, which, when there's a Reaver nearby, is probably not a good idea. And the Reaver might be coming towards us gravity, anyway. So might, gravity oh, generated two. Field depth. One meter. Don't move a muscle. What? There is a Reva 2.5 kilometers from us. That'll be fine. If we move the ship at all, it'll detect us. I think. Because we are within its range. Lector. What have we got? That's it. Those are all the options for a collector. Use conveyor system. Yeah, because it just... If stuff drops in them, they collect it. How do I see if they're working? Drop your gun in it. Uh. The shield just destroy that. Don't know. I think it, did. it looked like it. Right. So, what? I need to take this apart and build it so that it's outside the shield. But it won't ever be outside the shield. The shield will extend to include it. We oh. have to turn off the shield when we're going to use it. I turn off the shield. Some um, blocking stuff. Okay. Behind. Turn off the shield. Oh, there they go. They're coming in. What's coming in? Oh, and the shield they destroyed hit the shield it again. and got obliterated. Maybe, or they got sucked into the thing. It's hard to tell. Um, so, come back. I have a way to tell. Okay. Part of this. So, what we do is we get rid of part of the conveyor network. Put a huh? cargo container in that's just attached to the collectors. Oh, I see. And then check the cargo container. Huh? Oh, you just back over here? What? I thought you were actually doing that thing you just suggested. No, I was leaving it to you to do. I'm building my ship. 
This thing's taking forever to build. I need to keep working on it as much as possible. I should have said something. I thought you'd realise that I was gone. Oh, I did eventually. <laughs> I thought it would happen sooner than it did. Oh, there they go. They're coming in. They're coming in hot. I went puff puff on the shield. Did they go puff puff uh, on the shield, did they? They did, and there's scrap metal in the cargo container. Okay, so they got scraps. Right, so we do need to turn the shield to allow stuff. Let me try. Shield. Modulate. Uh, no. Entities may pass the shield. There we go. Try it now. Okay. That's the Auxus. Need to get a bit closer, don't you? Oh, you're just grinding stuff and then dropping it. As a test. Here it comes! Shoop! It still looked like it got destroyed by the shield. Uh, it still looks like the shield is on to me. The shield is on, but it's supposed to allow entities to pass. Uh, the amount of scrap didn't no seem energy. to actually no. change. Uh oh. 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 Ow. 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 Whoosh. Energy low. Oh. Uh. Did it work? Okay. Uh, the steel plates kind of bounced off the generator, but then they went into the collector. And it did work this time. Okay, the shields are off. For this to work. Well. So you can move the thing a lot closer. Because you're going to want it closer so that you don't hit the entity limit. Huh? Um, if, you grow, if you're creating too many objects, the objects will just get deleted. And over but that now, sort of distance, you may create too many. So if it's closer, I, they'll get cleaned up I'm, quicker. I'm going to move the ship closer before I grind it. Okay. This was just for testing. So yeah, it works. Um, do you think you need? Do you think it'll benefit from more collectors around that thing? I don't know. You tell me. I've never used this system before. It was suggested to me, and I was like, "Yeah, that's a cool idea. I'll give it a go." Yeah, but you've you've used collectors before. This is like the first time I've even built one. I've used collectors, like, for light echoes. Well, that doesn't count. And a little bit on my goofy thing. That was it. Barely used it. Also, when this was suggested, I thought it was right up your alley. It's a very capac solution. Uh... What the... Um... <laughs> Great, now there's steel plate stuck on the gravity generator. Yeah, so I think you're going to need to have collectors on top of the grav gen. Somehow. That's going to need a whole rebuild. Yeah. I think nobody got time for that. We've got plenty of time. You think I'm anywhere near finished over here? No, sorry. Well, I can't help it if you're taking forever. Sure you can. You take forever too. And I don't feel bad. I... Do things in exactly as much time as they take. Thank you for that tautology. Uh, Alright, I guess... The best way to do this... I guess I could just scrap that whole setup. And what are you Oops. probably inclined with? Um... Uh, just a bunch of steel plates flying at the gravity generator from the wrong side. Oh, yep. This did not work. Thought I'd try something that would might that might possibly look like canards, but uh, it did not. Uh huh. It just looked that's like some a chunk kind of, of armor stuck out in the middle of nowhere. That's some kind of bird. Yes, but it's also those um, little winglets at the front of planes. Uh, chicken wings. No, winglets. Yeah. Like riblets. 
No, not like riblets. Got the riblets, and then you got the winglets. And the nuglets. Ugh, all this talk is making me hungry. Oh, some barbecue sauce. That's what we need. There it goes. Shumpf. Perfection. Alright. Show me your work, Kevak. There they go. Blam. Nice. Does it work with both of us doing stuff? Yeah, seems like it. Yeah. That actually looks pretty effective. Because our, hand, our hand grinders are super fast. I've only got a tier 2 grinder. Well, you could get yourself a better one for this. Yeah. It's kind of fun watching it. Too. Sure is. Oh, never have the words inventory full sounded so sweet. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you are so correct. You just have to be careful not to accidentally grind the stuff as it falls down. Mm. Mm. It has kind of wonked up gravity everywhere else, though. Oh, yeah, you just need a button to turn it off when you're done. A bouton, you say? Uh, it's a bit easier than having to go into build vision and do it that way every time. Proud of your little contraption, Cafe. Yeah, it seems to be doing all right. Do you feel like it's a bit easier than using a chip grinder? In some ways. Uh, I don't know. The last time I used a chip grinder was like a million years ago. Yeah. I just always feel like I've got so much more control with the hand grinder, so. It and it does feel so quick, whereas I feel like with ship grinders, sometimes they work out quite nicely, but a lot of the time what ends up happening is you're bumping the stuff so far away that you end up spending most of your time chasing and rearranging it and, and not actually getting a benefit out of multiple grinders being in contact. Oh, the paint job's going to have a hard time getting this thing look good. I, I really do hate having to cover my builds in armor in space Help. engineers. What's wrong? Nothing. What? I said nothing. Yeah, you said nothing, but nothing I heard happened. I've done something really silly and I don't want to own up to it now. I'm sure if I slammed into the hull of my ship too fast and I died, I would say so. Oh, where is my body going? <laughs> You get, is your body twirling and twirling? Oh no, my body's in orbit. <laughs> so what you doing down there? Just grinding away. Really? How's your gold coming along for your um thingy? No idea. Your shield. Man, I should have had a time lapse set up for this. Looks like you're going after the whole thing. You know, I wasn't expecting you to do the whole thing. Why not? Well, I was just pointing out that I wasn't expecting you to. You do have other fun things you can do if you want. What? It's up to you, though. Mm, I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> what, the fun bit, or it's up to you? Either of those things. <laughs> oh, I've been a dum-dum. Huh? Forgot to put directional thrusters on. <laughs> Been doing all this greebling without contemplating where directional thrust needs to come from. I wonder if um, there were so many big, flat, open spaces. I haven't had I'm to cram sure the thrusters it'll be in. Fine. Uh, Is your brain just turning into mush over there with all that grinding? Nope. You stop grinding. I'm enjoying every second of it. Really? Yes. Really? I'll have my revenge on the orcs by whittling their ship down to nothing. This thing's gonna take me weeks to build. 
Can you finish it before I'm finished grinding down these ships? Find out next time. No. That would be a terrible, terrible teaser. I feel like we've done very little of interest today. How about you? Uh, hasn't been super exciting. Necessary, but not particularly exciting. Hmm. Any thoughts on something exciting we could do? Um... Any sort of race? A race? I don't know, we could do a race around the agglomeration or something. On foot. Foot race? Yeah. I don't know that it's even continuous yet. Uh, it's probably not. All the more challenge. No jetpacks. <laughs> what are we even doing? Are we meant to be making some kind of base? We're meant to be making a truck stop. When are we going down to the alien planet? Uh, once my ship's done. But I think I'm going to have to spend some time while uh, you're chilling out. To try and get this thing done because there is still a huge amount of work to do. I mean, I could make this functional quickly, but they're like... It's supposed to be a somewhat militaristic ship, so it's got a whole lot of armor. And the armor plating takes so long to do, especially without any um, symmetry mode. Hmm. Because this is a big, small grid vehicle. Like, remember how long the croissant took to build? And this thing's probably two to three times that size. I could help you, like, weld it up, I guess. But... Yeah, the, the welding doesn't take the time. It's the actual placement. Huh. Hey, if you come over here... Um... Uh... Where's he? Where I am. Can't you see my broadcast? Oh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> You're out of power. Yep. <laughs> Wait, uh, what have you done to this thing? To what thing? I just sat in the cockpit to get some energy, and I noticed that these turbines are a lot closer than the ones on the other side. What? What turbines? It, small thrusters. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a level of asymmetry that's going to bug some people. Yeah, me. <laughs> Leave it. So, I have... If, if I can... What's wrong? I'm stretching my legs. I've been grinding too much. Um... If I can communicate to you the rough idea of what I'm doing, and you can see the rough shapes that I'm working on, so things smooth, not your dinosaur pattern thing that you often do. Well, I mean, if you're complaining about missing symmetry mode, I could just, like, be symmetry mode for you and just replicate what you're doing on one side on the other side. Well, I was, I was actually thinking something that would make it a bit more of a team build than you just being my minion because it might be more interesting for you so if you want to continue working on the armor of this top section and see what you can make of it and putting directional thrusters in where you think they need to be since i've kind of shown where the cockpit how the cockpit's going to lay out i'm going to work on the two lower modules um Whoa. What? Oh, my game just hung for a sec. Whoa! Whoa! What the... <laughs> Why did you attack my ship? Did... didn't think my grinder was on. <laughs> it was very much on. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Well, you can start by repairing those bits that are missing. Um, and then... So... I think something like eight hydrogen little thrusters in each direction is probably going to be enough. But at least I got five at the moment. But if you keep working on this bit and you do it in your style, what, what bit? The top, the bit. top bit. So it's going to need armor underneath. It's going to need lifting thrust underneath. Well, it may not need too much lifting thrust because I'll probably put a lot of that in the other modules. But I'd still want some in this. But I'm working on the top. Yeah. Really? 
Yes, I got an ID. You may want to dump some of your stuff first. Yeah, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Uh, and I'm going to start working on these lower pods that I wanted. But yeah, I think, I think it could be interesting us trying to build something like this together. We'll certainly end up with something that's very different to what either of us had built on our own. Alright, what do you think of my first modification? Ah. Good call. Did you use the high power ones? Do we have uh, those powers? are just regular ones. Uh, uh, the problem with this is I don't know what's going to interfere with this door. Okay, so you can't build anything. You can't change anything between the buttons and the rotor. Basically, don't build anything between these four unfinished blocks. Go. Sure. And you should be okay. Uh, hmm... Hmm? We're getting in and out from a hatch on the top. Yeah. So it really should have like access ladders to get down. Um. Drat. <laughs> uh, let's let's deal with that after we've finished it because we may find that there are ways we can kind of walk up it. What the. What on earth is this thing you're doing? These are the bottom pods. Gun pods? Yeah. So I'm I was confused. genuinely thinking this thing is going to be quite big. Although it probably feels right now like I'm going to be kind of an annoying boss looking over your shoulder the whole time. It's only, I'm only, I'm going to do my absolute best to only um, ask you to change things that functionally are an issue. A likely story. Unless you put ribs on it like a dragon. Because that's going to irk me and I don't want that. There's no accounting for taste. Uh. What? You can... There's a thruster on the left side here, but not on the right side. Yeah, I haven't In gone fact, around there's to There's no thrusters that yet. on the right side. Yeah. I just wasn't up to that bit yet. But you're building weird gun pods. Yeah, because I w thought you were doing that bit now. I thought I was doing armor. And and uh, and thrusters. Gotta fix everything. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna come back and help you with that bit once I've done this bit. The whole I wanted the whole lot to get done at some some point. So at least this way, more of it gets done faster. We can get down to planet earlier. Brass tacks. Did you say thrust hacks? Oh, I said brass tacks. Oh. That's what you get down to. Yes. Uh, how well armored do you want these side pods to be? Same as the core. They're completely covered. Yeah. Uh oh. Glitchy drone. What? Oh, get the... Shields back on. I don't know how. Shield initializing. Start up in thirty seconds. Uh oh. Uh, it's not getting any closer. Okay. Oh yeah, glitchy. Oh, glitchy's not always nasty. Glitchy can be nice. Well, should I go say hello? Yeah. You just, and I, I think Glitchy expects you, be, you to be polite. I'll do what I can to help, just press the button. Uh-huh. It doesn't look like it's got any guns. Has it got a button? Whoa, what, what the? You, you, what did you do? It's, what? I just tried to, I was looking at it. Uh, it says it's berserk. Is it doing anything? There's private hardware, no peeking. Uh, I think it's broken. Yeah. Got some holograms of guns, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything, and it's... seems to be... fritzing. Oh, I did shoot it a bit. Wait. Did you say I'm responsible? After it said berserk, I shot it. Oh well. 
Free uranium salvage. ammo bodge. Yeah, ammo. Bit of uranium too. Doesn't have any guns. I... I get the impression that it's meant to weld itself up, but it didn't for some reason. Why do I feel like I'm sinking? Maybe you are. Wouldn't make any sense. Good point in your own space. Uh, light patrol drone right on top of you. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's coming this way. Yeah, it's going to you. I'm chasing. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, this could be very bad. Yep. Dealt with the light patrol drone. Uh, where are you at? I'm almost back at the base. Oh, I'm coming in on the wrong side. For a second I thought I hadn't turned off the entity allowed thing. Like that your drone was going to explode attached to you. Yeah, that would have been interesting. <laughs> it would have been. Oh. Well done. I got two minutes. Why have you got two minutes? Two minutes before this unknown signal disappears. Of course. Of course. Well, Capac, I think I've started a potential design for the linking part. I thought you were going to say a potential disaster. No, I think, I think we might be able to work with what I've laid out in terms of creating some an interesting link and I like already this. did one no mine's better what trust me no, I wasn't finished mine yet. yeah you'll see you'll see mine and you'll realize what I was going um, for and what help what um where are you my initial dampeners aren't working I'm flying off into space <laughs> where are you oh I think I turned my jetpack off <laughs> <laughs> oh, Capac. I must have mashed the wrong key. Good job. So I think next time I'll keep having your help with this build and we'll see how far we can get it done and see if we can be seconds. almost Whoa. finished. I almost ran into it. <laughs> Good job. So there's Capac probably dying to an unknown signal at some point. Ooh. And the two of us. What's all? I don't know if I actually had that. A crocodile rifle. Oh. The next time, Capac will probably faceplant into an unknown signal because he's faceplanted into other things today that he tried to hide from me. <laughs> I, it, I don't remember that happening. And the two of us will probably get a bit more work done on this thing and maybe even get it vaguely close to the point where we can paint it something other than yellow. I don't know, yellow is that. a pretty good colour. Yellow is a terrible colour for this thing. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And we will see you then. See you later, everybody. Bye.